welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a program to make Windows bootable from a USB thumb drive, as you see here. Uh, this program is called Rufus. And as you can see, I just pointed to it. And what this does is it takes your Windows ISOs and makes them bootable. Now, the thing is, yes, the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool does have this program, and it recognized it. My thumb drive, the computer recognized my thumb drive there. So I'm launching it now. Now, as to go back to what I was saying, which I'll get back to in a little bit. So this is Rufus, the top thumb drive. The middle is format type. The bottom is where you uh, check and see what it's doing. So now I open it, so there. So in this case, it recognizes it as J, so it's going to be on my thumb drive. So, and you want to change that to uh, BIOS. Do not use the UEFI that is PCs in it. It will not work. So what you have to do here, instead of GPT, you have to switch it to MBR, which is Master Boot Record. Even for the 64-bit, you have to do MBR. And what I'm pointing to there, that's where my thumb drive uh, letter is. And it's J on this, this one. Because I used to, I changed the um, drive letter in a previous video. So now what it's saying is, hey, this is going to wipe all the data. To make the thumb drive bootable, it's going to wipe all the data. So what you want to do is you want to have extra thumb drives handy. So now I'm going to click OK. So in case you need to move the software. So what's happening now is it is creating the ISO to be bootable on the thumb drive. Now, to get back to what I was saying about the Windows uh, media creation tool, you can have it create a bootable ISO on a thumb drive. I did it. It works. Uh, instead of downloading the ISO to your desktop and you using a program like this, you could use the Windows media creation tool to do that as well. Um, just make sure that your thumb drive is either 8 gigs or higher, otherwise it will not work. Now, with this, if I was going to do Windows 7, a bootable ISO, I can do that too. But Windows 7 does not have a media creation. What you have to do is create ISO and then use this program to do it. These days, everything is Windows 10. So... Uh, I wouldn't need to do that. So as you can see, it is Rufus is creating the ISO. Now, someone's going to ask the question, hey, can you do this with Linux and Mac OS X? Yes, you can. Rufus is Windows only. I knew this program a while ago, and uh, I was looking for programs, and someone happened to t tell me about stuff for Linux. It's called Etcher. Etcher will do Linux. It will do Mac OS X. It will do Windows as well. And Microsoft has their own tool to do this, but it doesn't have all the options. This, for Windows only, is the best, well, one of the best tools you can get. Um, I'm looking for better ones, but for this type of of thing that you want to do, it will work. So, the version of Windows I am running while making this bootable thumb drive is the ISO that I am making bootable is the October update. And you're going to ask yourself, why are you doing that? The reason I do that is so you that it's not the same one. So I'm not just making editing tricks and going, hey, look, this is what it is. You will actually see what it's actually doing. 
Now, you can do this with Rufus, Windows 2000, you could do Windows XP, you could do Windows Vista 7, 8, if I remember correctly, 8, Windows 8 Media Creation Tool does have this option, if I remember correctly. I don't really mess with the Windows 8 anymore. Um, most of the Windows OS's that I have lately is Windows 7 and Windows 10. And let's see, it's the November 28th, 2020 as the editing of this video. In about, let's say, 2021 right now. In four years, Microsoft will not support Windows 8 anymore. So what I recommend doing, either quickly or anything, go to Windows 10 and you can do it this way too. Now the trick with this is with a DVD you can leave it in the drive. So when it when the setup restarts the computer, it will go press enter to boot off CD or DVD depending on the version of the operating system. Here's a difference installing Windows this way. You have to when you have to pull the thumb drive out because if you don't after it's done it will automatically boot off that there's no option to bypass it or whatever boot directly off that so you have to take it out because once this is finalizing windows it's installed it'll restart you pull the thumb drive out and windows will do what it needs to do So as you see, it is still creating the Windows ISO. Now, this, this, this is my testing computer, and it's about 11 years old. I'm not sure if I stated that in another video. Um, it, and you will see it, is the Windows logo flashed, and then it had the um, what cursor. And it just sat there and flashed, and I was like, what? And uh, then it did it. The, pro the issue is with the uh, DVDs is it's right there. Okay, I need this, I need this, I need this, and it's kind of laid out. In the thumb drive, it's not. So it does take a little bit to get in there. Once you get in there, though, it's a lot quicker. And as I stated, you do, once Windows finalizes, do not pull the thumb drive out until your computer restarts. When you hit that boot screen of your motherboard, pull that out, and Windows will do its thing. Now, for me, as someone who repairs computers, this will make it a lot easier for me because I have two extra thumb drives that both are 16-bit. So here's what I can do. I can take the 64-bit uh, and the 32-bit. And you ask yourself, you said nobody uses 32-bit. Nobody does. But what I can do is make a bootable thumb drive for both and then put it in my toolbox 
and when I need it, just pull it out, put the computer into, um, boot off the USB thir uh, first, and read it. Now, older computers, really old computers that may be barely compatible with Windows 10 will not have that capability, but that's why I have a uh, DVD handy with uh, that was made by the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. It's always good to have two ways to do one thing. Otherwise, you'll go, uh-oh, how do I uh, do this? About 70% there right now. And this did take a little longer. Have liked, but it did what it needed to do, so. And it was the same USB thumb drive that I got Windows XP from, that Memorex thumb drive. Um, if you haven't seen my other video, I bought those at a store called... Uh, I'm in the U.S. for my viewers overseas. Uh, I'm in the U.S. and we have the store called Target. It's basically kind of... Um, like a catch-all store and they have an electronics department that's where I got these because it was three 16 gigs uh, for 17 bucks um, I wasn't going to use it for anything else so that was a good deal uh, $17 USD which stands for United States dollar
Now, so to note, this is the first time that I have actually done this. And you're saying to yourself, well, wait, you will computer guide this the first time? I've just always used the DVD, but for reasons I wanted to, as I stated earlier, to make a bootable USB to uh, throw in my toolbox. So then this way I could install with no issue. And right when it's almost done, that took the longest, but that was a huge file. You'll see that when it happens. And before anybody asks, yes, you can make Windows 98 bootable from a thumb drive. Your computer's motherboard needs to support option to boot from a USB device, and then you can do it. Because a lot of computers from that era do not have that capability. I do recommend with something like this you don't have to get a as I stated a high capacity drive get one that's on sale because how often are you going to install Windows unless you do this for a living you're not going to and there's different types try different types see how different types react uh, I know I stated this before but if you're very very money conscious there is a store again I'm in the US called five five and below and you can get stuff for five dollars on down and I have a couple thumb drives that 
from there and they're really really good and they still work so you can go that route too So it is almost done. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on the thumb drive itself. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm show, going to show you what it looks like on the thumb drive. All the setup files are right there. That is what it would look like the same way if I inserted the DVD. We are going, I should say I am, but I'm trying to include everybody in this. We are going to restart the computer here. So I actually had to cut the video a little bit because this is the part where I said it took a little longer than I would have liked. Yes, that's me pushing the delete key right there. So as you see, the first boot device is that Member X thumb drive. All right, so it is now we're starting. I push enter does the V class it is the Windows logo see that flash and to prove it once again I'm gonna open the DVD drive up there's nothing in there just to prove that I am doing what I said I'm doing. All right, so I did cut the video. Yes, that's me you're seeing in there. I'm stretching at this point.
right, so this is the Windows logo. Here's what happened. Um, I did this, and I left the thumb drive in, and it went back to this. Now, this is before I restarted to film that part, but... I filmed after I realized, hey, wait a minute. So it's setting. I do not have a product key. Remember, you get a test. And you get all the additions. And yes, I do use Pro. As you can see, I am deleting the partitions, and this is all done from the thumb drive in this case. Now, I have done several, several times, but I'm, sh I'm showing it in a different light. You see how f fast it went to the second one? The second line where it's expanding the files? It did that quicker on the DVD. Why? Thumb drive is a solid state device. So what I'm basically doing is I'm installing to a solid state device from a solid state device. So the speed is going to be real quick. And again, I do show that I am not I have nothing in the drive. And you'll see it happen really, really quick. Because it was about five minutes. Normally, this would take a, a half hour to 45 minutes on a DVD. Why? It has to spin up, and then the drive has to read it. So you're wasting a good 15 minutes of the drive spinning up. The last one where it's finalizing Windows, that, you see the, uh, the name of the board, you pull that out. And I forgot to show that it's running, Windows is without that in there because it's already installed.
and it did it real quick as you saw so I'm not inter, inter, intervening here and I'm gonna let it restart blue screen because there's nothing goes this remember this is a TV not a monitor that comes up this is where I pulled the thumb drive and I let it do its thing I did not pull the thumb drive in this case or did I I can't really remember and I'm the one that filmed the video oh no I did just at a later time what happened was is I'm so used to working with the DVD that I forgot to pull it so I did pull it so now I pulled the thumb drive right this is purely on the hard drive you see I showed that I had pulled it Is pure hard drive right here so when you when what's nice about this is since there's nothing in there you know it, even if you install it on the DVD that you're good and yes that's me again I couldn't remember where I pulled the thumb drive and where I couldn't. So I'm going to have to do the normal things to set up for personal professional use and stuff like that. Alright, so just like normal, it's going to restart again. And there's 
is the Windows logo. All right, so you're going to get the same um, region options. You're going to get the same keyboard layout. You're going to get the same options no matter what. I just want to show that it's basically the same because it is the same. So shortly here, we are going to go into the normal screen. Windows is getting updates for your uh, security. So we're in versus just a moment hi we're getting everything ready for you same thing yes I know I sight read there but I was trying to prove a point And there we go. We have the Windows installation. It's installing everything. So well, with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.